Alrighty, let's get down to business. I've noticed that a lot of people don't like Xenosaga, which really surprises me because everyone loves Xenogears. Let's face it, we liked Xenogears because of its great story. I have never, ever seen a video game with such an excellent story squeezed into one game before. With that said, Xenogears should be played for its story because it has such an emphasis on the game. Without the story, the game would mean nothing, and the characters wouldn't be important at all. That doesn't even come close in saying how much talking there was in the game either. There was a lot of it, and I'm glad there was too, for I, personally, love the stories in RPGs. I mean, literally, I just love the stories in RPGs. Nonetheless, let's get on to Xenosaga which I would consider as one game that takes forever to beat, even though there's three parts of it. I've never, ever seen a video game that makes a story out of environments we cannot prove. I don't want to spoil how extremely amazing the story is, and I fear that spoiler tags in real life won't even matter, because everyone is so close-minded towards the game, as to which I'm extremely disturbed by. Xenogears took place in space at first, but then focus on a planet due to the lack of technology. However, in Xenosaga, the lack of technology is non-existent, and thus the game's story can actually afford to stay off of a planet for most of the time. The gameplay wasn't amazing, wasn't amazing, and it actually sucked in Episode 2. But when the three games are combined, then the story it forms is the best I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Beyond Star Wars, beyond Star Trek, beyond Mass Effect, just beyond Xenogears, beyond anything. It's that amazing. But wait a second. Why am I talking about the gameplay beforehand? There were obvious flaws in Xenogears as well. So why am I complaining about Xenosaga to begin with? Well, of course, this brings me back to my point. Xenogears has a great story, and Xenosaga has an amazing story. Quite frankly, I wouldn't have played either games if it weren't for their gripping stories. Sure, Xenosaga takes a while to suck you in, but patience is a must before it starts to become like Xenogears, and goes even beyond Xenogears. With that said, I want to look back at what I said earlier. We liked Xenogears because of its great story. So... Why does everyone hate Xenosaga? Is it because it takes place in space? That's because of the technology given and the circumstances that you must find out later in the story. Is it because it's nothing like what people were hoping for, such as a true sequel to Xenogears? Sadly, just get over it. Is it because of how uninteresting the first six hours are in Xenosaga Episode 1? Well, that's understandable, but the game really picks up eventually. And is it because of the long cutscenes? Well, let me ask you this question. How would you have rather read all of the text in Xenogears like you did, and just read the text in Xenosaga, and which just has a script just as long, like they're both almost equal? It would seem to me that people loved Xenogears and hated Xenosaga for the exact same reason. The story. I swear, this makes me weep down inside because I know how amazing the story to Xenosaga is. But no one's even patient enough to explore it. It's turned down immediately, and so are my opinions. <laughs> In this case, whoever loves Xenogears and yet hates Xenosaga is a hypocrite, and it just simply boggles my mind. Please understand that I only want you all to understand the truth through this vlog. This video log, if you will. Even though this video is a picture. Um, since I have beaten the series, I know how amazing it is, but most don't. And that's why I honestly suggest that you all take your time to play the whole Xenosaga series. Even if you don't like it at first, because I promise you that it will grow on you. Having beaten Xenogears and approving of my own message even still, even now, I promise that it's for the better. By the end of episode 3, you will have a whole new outlook on Xenosaga. And just honestly, you'll thank me for getting you into it. I'm willing to take my chances in claiming that much. 
I really am. But, of course, I'm still a little dissatisfied how people overlooked Xenosaga, and why some are, you know, not exactly happy with it. I guess what also gets me is that the story writers for both Xenogears and Xenosaga were done or had the same people, and yet people ignore that by saying Xenosaga is crap but love Xenogears. What the heck?! How dare people diss Tetsuo Takahashi and Soria Saga like that? People love their story to Xenogears, but hate the story to Xenosaga, and yet the story to Xenosaga is even better. And on a side note, Soria Saga wrote about one-third of the characters to Final Fantasy VI, so in my opinion, hating Xenosaga means you hate Final Fantasy VI. Eat that. This has got to be one of the best series the world has ever seen, and hardly one any knows about it. It sickens me that people really do hate it, because I think it's absolutely amazing. It, it's just truly awesome. So, basically, if you've played Xenogears, go play Xenosaga. It has the best story in a lifetime. Just do it.